Got it? Okay. The other one is perfect competition. In a perfectly competitive market, there will be many sellers and many buyers. A lot of different firms compete to supply an identical product as there is a extensive competition. Neither producers nor consumers can influence the market price. They are all price takers. If any firm did try to sell at a higher price, it would it would lose the customer to competitors. As I was telling you before the case, if the price is too low, they may incur a loss. You have to settle the price that you can at least recover your cost of production. If you uh, if the price is low, they may incur a loss. There will also be a huge amount of output in the market. Okay. Let's talk about some advantages and disadvantages of the perfect competition. The first one is high consumer leadership. Okay. Consumer will have a wide variety of the goods and the services to choose the from as many producers sell similar products. Other one lower prices as competition is extensive. Producer will try it and keep prices low and attract consumer and increase sales efficiency to keep profit high and lower cost firm will be very efficient if they are not efficient they would become less profitable this will cause them to raise the price which would discourage consumer from buying their product inefficiency could lead to a poor quality product some of disadvantages wasteful competition misleads customer in the order to keep up with the other firms, producer will du uh, duplicate item. This is considered as waste of resources. If everyone is going to copy you, Sharees, then this is just waste of resources. You are not going to make a new product. You are just wasting your resources and you are wasting your resources just to make a copy of other brands. Mislead customer. Like you are unable to identify which brand is original because everyone have the same name Shares cloth brand was the original one the next could be Shares and son cloth brand okay Shares and brother cloth brand okay uh, Shares and sister cloth brand the new customer would be very you know it would be very tough for him to identify which one is the original everyone having the name of Shares okay so mislead customer to gain more customer in the sales form might give forward and exaggerated claims about their product which would disadvantage both customer and the competitors the last thing is monopoly i i'm hope i i hope you have better idea about the monopoly let's talk about some kind of advantage than disadvantages monopoly is like a dominant firms who don't have a much competitor competition okay dominant firms that have a market power to restrict competition in the market are called monopolies in a pure monopoly there is only single seller who supplies a good or services example indian railways like if you talk about the pakistan atomic energies okay only uh, they are the only one who can uh, you know give the electricity at least you don't have uh, rights to ask other companies to give us electricity okay that's why they, they this is known as monopoly monopolies don't face competition because of the market faces a high barriers to entry obstacle preventing new firms from entering into the market there is a uh, that is there might uh, might be a high startup cost like a sunk cost expensive paperwork regulation etc if the monopoly has a very high brand loyalty or pricing structures that other firms couldn't possibly compete with those also act as a barrier to entry. Let's talk about some kind of a disadvantages. There is a less consumer power because of no competition. Other firms selling the product output is low and thus there is a little consumer choice. Higher price. If you are having a higher price with no competition, then there would be low quality 
as there is little and no competition monopoly have to incentive to raise the quality as consumer will have to buy from them anyway because they don't have other options to buy it inefficiency with a high price they may create a high enough profits that cause due to inefficiency won't create significant problem in their profitability and so they can continue being an efficient sometimes monopolies are not bad sharis the reason as only a single producer exists it will produce more output than what individual farms in the competition do okay however sharis this is some kind of a exceptional case okay but still we are just uh, are going to discuss discussing it okay this is some kind of exceptional case they can still face a competition from overseas farms okay overseas farms the other we are not saying that this are the advantages of the monopolies monopoly is not a good thing but we are just saying that sometimes monopolies are not bad sometimes are not bad but not bad doesn't mean it is good okay they could sell products at a lower price and higher quality if they fear new firms may enter into the market in the future if they have a fear that new market will enter the market what they will do they will make a qualitative product 